Return of the Fly is the sequel to the 1950s science fiction horror classic The Fly. It came out pretty quick after the success of the original film. This is uh, just a, a year later that they made this one. So the original's uh, 1958. This one's 1959. Although uh, the actual time that passes between movies is about 12 years. So really the only returning character is the Vincent Price character, Francois Delambe, who of course was the brother of the scientist Andre from, from the first film. And uh, as, as you recall in, in the original film, it is about this scientist who's developing technology to teleport matter and things go terribly wrong. A fly gets into the machine with him and he becomes half man, half fly. His wife has to uh, assist in, in uh, killing him and uh, he, you know, destroys all evidence of, of his experiments because it's just a uh, science got amok. It's, a, it's an affront to God. So, you know, he had to stop all that. Um, but of course, he, he left behind a child and kind of how that movie ended was, well, there there was sort of kind of in, in, in the undercurrents of its plot, sort sort of like a love triangle between the two brothers and, and this woman, and you kind of think, well, okay, maybe things are going to be okay, and uh, you see them kind of walking off together, uh, the, the uh, woman, man, and, and, and the child, and you kind of think, oh, well, it's a, it's a happy enough ending. Bittersweet, I guess you could say. Um, this one, as it opens, it, it kind of... Puts, a, puts an end to any kind of, I don't know, uh, happy ending that maybe the, the first one uh, was was uh, hinting towards. Uh, Twelve years later, uh, it opens with uh, her funeral. Uh, so what we learn as Vincent Price is kind of glowering in, in, in the, 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 the funeral uh, crowd and, and we kind of hear his narration or like his projected thoughts more accurately is that she never really recovered uh, from this terrible incident, this, this horrible, horrible thing. So all these years of her life uh, were just uh, terrible pain, and it's, it's not really said explicitly how she died, so it's, it's kind of left up to uh, the audience's imagination. But she's gone, so the, the son, Philippe, uh, he's left without his parents now. So... Uh, he's inherited uh, his father's half of the family business, the other half being Francois. Uh, and finally, he's kind of picking up the pieces and uncovering the secrets that the father left behind, much to the uh, ab absolute horror of, of uh, Francois, who, who wants to do everything he can to protect this child from from this terrible truth, but uh, uh, you know he's he's kind of forced to spill the beans and and let him know what happened with the fly, what happened with the experiments, what he was trying to do. But Philippe, he is he's just insistent on carrying on his father's work. He, he's also become a scientist himself, and uh, that's that's the the general idea of of the plot. So uh, you can imagine what follows next uh, another uh, experiment gone awry and, and another half man half fly um it's done a little bit differently this time around they, they add a little bit more plot wise like there is a uh, a kind of colleague of, of both francois and philippe who uh is, is actually kind of this this uh secret uh kind of saboteur, this this uh, double agent who's, who's trying to get information on this technology and giving it to this this, uh, this other, you know, shady uh, character and, you know, completely betraying Philippe and all that. And so kind of how he catches on to the fact that Francois develops this fear of flies, he kind of uses that against him. Uh, knocks him into the machine and uh, Philippe unfortunately has the the exact same fate that falls upon him that that fell upon his father he becomes a half man half fly and in this case he's not just kind of confined to his lab like the father was uh, he's he's kind of out and about 
he's actually kind of uh, seeking revenge on on this uh, colleague uh, Alan is his name who who betrayed him and and those around him so uh, it's it also kind of becomes about uh, Vincent Price's character uh, trying to uh, work with a, a trusted uh, police inspector uh, who knows the the secrets though he wasn't a character in the first film uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, inspector uh, Beecham I believe uh, the name is uh, brand new character he's kind of working with him uh, to, to track Philippe down try to find that uh, smaller version with the fly head and the fly hand or the human head and, and the human hand uh, and, and and try to right the wrongs basically try to try to 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 save him for, from the same uh terrible tragedy that uh, that his father experienced so maybe he can get things right this time around maybe he can save the son's life uh i won't go too into spoilers here but there's you know some other stuff including a, a romantic subplot with with philippe and and uh, uh childhood friend cecile so there's kind of i don't know almost like a a little bit of a, a, a echo of 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 the relationship uh, in the first film, kind of I don't know, like a Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. Um, so it all kind of comes together, and it's it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a pretty decent follow up, uh, considering. I mean, they are treading very similar territory. Uh, this is, I mean, I would say at the very least the very least it's a better sequel to the original film than that 1980s sequel was to to the 80s remake i'll say that um so i'd say it, it delivers more uh on on things that we liked about the first film and, and kind of uh, following uh the the vincent price character and, and his kind of desperate uh, uh kind of final stand and in, in, in trying to to save his his nephew right so it's it's a good story and i mean obviously it's it's not as impressive technically as the original um for one thing i mean what you'll notice right away of course it's it's in black and white as opposed to the the full technicolor original so you can tell they kind of you know, they weren't putting too much money on this this is more kind of i don't know uh, the uh, drive-in schlock compared to the first one, I guess, um, which is fine. I mean, it's 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 all right. Um, but you know, you kind of, I don't know. I guess you take for granted kind of the the cheesy flashing lights of of the laboratories, the experiments are, are going on in in full color, and, and they're just they're not as impressive as as the original film, just because there's not much to uh, work with here it's just uh, you know black and white and i don't know the the, the first film I, I thought they did a really good job in kind of uh keeping the monster at bay only catching a few glimpses of it like not really i mean it's it's, it's a guy with a mask right i mean it's not really that involved you know not certainly not as as complex as as, as as the remake right um and and they kind of i don't know they show the monster a little bit more in this one so he's not quite in the shadow he's kind of running around and choking people and i don't know it's it, it's it's all right but uh you know it's it it's it certainly uh I can't regard it as like you know like side by side with the original, but at the same time I, I would say it's 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 worth checking out because, I mean uh, again it, it has a good concept, it's the the son of the fly, which I I can't believe they didn't choose that title for this film. Son of the fly seems perfect for you know fifties movie right, um, but whatever, uh, you know it's. Uh, it it has good old Vincent Price. You can, you can hardly go wrong with him, and uh, some interesting stuff. Like there, there's some other stuff just besides the fly kind of stuff. There's there's some other experiments that go on that are kind of wacky and, and cool. So uh, it's it's an entertaining film. It's 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 definitely worth watching at least once just to see what it's what it's all about. Uh, so I'd recommend it. Uh, so that's that's my review. The the Return of the Fly, nineteen fifty nine, spooky, scary, science gone wrong, nineteen fifties drive-in classic, I guess. So 
Thanks very much for watching. We're doing 31 Days of Horror this month, so I'm uh, reviewing horror movies all throughout October 2021. I hope you'll stay with me and uh, watching some more spooky, scary stories. And uh, until then, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, stay scared.